In this example, we are going to see how to implement an extended access list. Previously, we have seen a standard access list. The difference between a standard access list and extended access list is that a standard access list filtered based on source IP address or source network address. An extended access list filters based on source network address or IP address and destination network address or IP address, source port number, destination port number, and the protocol itself. So, if the standard access list is to be placed near to the destination, an extended access list should be implemented close to the source network. So, in this example, we remember just we have two networks. The first network host 1 and host 2. The second network has host 3 and host 4. We just look at the IP addresses assigned to each one of the hosts in both networks, just to remember that. And then we say, okay, we're going to, we need to implement an access list, but an extended type of access list that's going to make difference in uh, filtering traffic between specific hosts. For example, I want to filter the traffic between host 1 and host 3. The first step, I will do the following. I, I would like to allow traffic between host 1 and host 3, but deny the traffic between host 1 and host 4, the complete traffic, the complete protocol stack. The same thing, I want to allow traffic between host 2 and host 3, but deny traffic between host 2 and host 4. We don't have specific applications now, but we're going just to show how to do that. Later on, we will see more uh, involved examples. Now, the first thing we, uh, we will do, we have to configure the access list on RTA. Why RTA? Because it, is, because it is closer to the source. So, let me just first go to RTA. Here, here I am. This is RTA router. The first step, I should check if I have any access list configured. No access list. So, I will go to the global configuration mode. And from there, I will start configuring the access list. Uh, which uh, index I have to use. The IP extended access list use index between 100 and 199. So I can choose index 110, 110. And I say, okay, the access list should, sh the access list, uh, sorry, the access list should permit traffic between this IP address and this IP address, host 1, host 3, but deny traffic between host 1 and host 4. Let's implement that permit IP traffic between host 172.16.0.1 and host 172.31.0.1. On the other side, I want uh, the traffic between host 1 to be denied and host uh, 4 to be denied. So I'm going to deny that uh, traffic. Right now, what I do, same access list number, I will permit the traffic between host two and host three, one seventy two thirty one dot zero dot one, but I will uh, deny the traffic between host two and host four. So here it should be 2, right? Now we can check our access list again. Access list 110. These are the rules established for uh, the extended access list. So the traffic is permitted between host 1 and host 3. The traffic is denied between host 1 and host 4. The traffic is permitted between host 2 and host 3. The traffic will be denied between host to and host 4. Fine. So where, how we are going to apply this rule here, we will apply it into the fast uh, Ethernet interface 0 slash 0 in the inbound direction. So I go to router RTA, access the fast Ethernet 0, 0 interface, and then I apply the access list 110 in the inbound direction. So each time a packet will uh, go through router RTA, he will first be checked against the access list 110. If it is allowed, then it will go to the destination. Otherwise, no need to make uh, all the efforts and uh, spend all the uh, resources 
to detect at the end, uh, to identify that at the end the packet is denied access. So just make it as close as possible to the source. So I need to save this configuration. It is saved. Now, what I'm expecting to do, what I'm expected to have or to see, when I ping from host 1, host 3, the traffic will be permitted. So I will receive reply. Between host 1 and host 4, no reply. Between host 2 and host 3, there will be replies. And between host 2 and host 4, no reply. So let's just do this test. This is host 1. I ping to host 3. So normally I expect to see replies. Here they are. Or if I want to see more replies, I can always uh, increase the number. Now what I do, uh, I ping to host 4. You see, it is unreachable. So the, there is no communication or connectivity between host 1 and host 4. It has been denied by the access list. Let's go back again to router RTA. And then I want to display the access list, 110. You see, these are the matches. Five matches against the permit rule and 11 matches against the deny rule between host 1 and uh, network and uh, host 3 and 4. So I want to check also between host uh, 2. If things work fine between host uh, 2 and host 3. So from host 2, I'm going to ping host 3. All right, very good. So the reply is there. What about now if I ping host 4? Unreachable. Good. I come back again to router RTA. Display the access list. I see the necessary matches, which means that uh, our access list is working perfectly and it is denying the traffic where it should be denied and it is permitting the traffic where it should be permitted. Thank you for viewing this example. This is Hakim Adish. Bye.